I'm Jenny Welty Walters and I'm a painter and I'm a printmaker here in Victoria, BC and I'm a member of the Collective Works Collective which is where we are now and this is my current show um, of prints and my previous show was a, a show of paintings here. I became a painter and printmaker about 10 years ago. Um, I took early retirement because I'd been a prof of contemporary French literature and one of the founders of the Women's Studies program at the University of Victoria. And then I left and I went to the Victoria College of Art. I had a grand time. It was a wonderful place. We had three wonderful years. But it was primarily a place to paint. And so primarily we painted. And I kept getting teased because I love to put red in my paintings. And people would say, can't be a painting yet, Jenny. There's no red in it. So when I quit the art college, that's the time when people either continue to make art or they stop, right? Because they have to think up their own tasks. So I thought, well, what am I going to do? And I thought, well, I'll paint red. And I'll just keep painting red and see what happens. So I started with great big poppies and they got quite geographic and, and a bit like the Grand Canyon and all kinds of abstract and so on. And so from time to time I still paint poppies with attitude, though they're not the primary thing I paint anymore. And while I was at the college as well, in the last year we had to do some printmaking and I didn't want to do printmaking so I thought I was a painter. And so they taught us how to etch and all of these things and I hated it. It was painstaking and slow and it hurt my hands and so I'd be going around saying I hate this, I don't want to do this I don't want to be a printmaker and then I got shown how to work with, with cut out stencils and I made a print that really interested me so the next week I came back with something I prepared to work with stencils and then I cheated and put something under the press twice and I go, oh yeah, okay and out of that whole class, I'm the only person who's still a printmaker, oh, which is kind of funny. And we were talking about it, my old teacher and I were talking about it the other day with a group, and the group said she didn't really do that, did she? Because I said I was going around saying, I hate this. And they said, Dini Maya, no, out loud, you know, I hate this. And my teacher said, yes, she did. <laughs> but we're now in a collective together. And I love to make prints now. And as you can see, I, I work with cutouts on a zinc plate, or in this case four plates, and I put ink on the plate and ink on my cutouts and I make a print and then I move the cutouts and they leave shadows where they've been on the plate so that I can build a crowd or build density. Because what interests me is movement, right? And you can see that my people, I must have a collection of about 50 people with umbrellas, all moving in different ways. And it's the different ways they move that interest me, and not where they are particularly. I mean, these are Western people, as you can see. And all umbrellas have to be red, of course. Uh, but um, I'm not interested in making a street with, with cars and, and buildings and things. I'm only interested in how the people work and how their body language is, right? No faces, no particular clothes, um, but the way they move and where they're going. And gradually I've come to do that in my painting as well. Um, now I work with total gesture, black gesso, you know, gesso's the stuff you put under a painting normally, right? To stop the canvas absorbing the paint. Um, and you can get it black and it's, it's, it's lovely, dense, gorgeous stuff and it's kind of muddy and so I do it with a great big painting knife and on raw canvas, canvas that hasn't been treated so that it's got texture and the, and the gesso catches on it in unexpected ways and makes patterns that I couldn't create deliberately and so I'll make a gesture or two and then I stand back and look at it and think okay what does this make me think of? And then gradually build a group of people, or usually some on one side of the canvas and a, and a white space and some on the other, so that there's tension between the two groups. 
and the people, usually they don't have arms, they don't have legs, they just have a body shape and, and then a head. Occasionally I give them sort of legs, very occasionally they get legs and feet. It usually means I dropped some, some gesso where I didn't want it and I have to do something with it. I've even been known to put a little dog on sometimes, but drips are good. Anyway, so that's how I work. And those, um, that kind of painting fits really well with this kind of printmaking. Because doing both is always a problem. If you go into a jury show and you're only allowed to put in one piece or three pieces, do I go as a painter? Do I go as a printmaker? Do I do one of each? Or if I'm having a show, how do I put it together? Here I'm lucky because if I share with somebody, like I'm sharing with, with Jan the sculptor, um, I can have two shows, so the one was a, as, as a painter and one was as a printmaker. But if they have to hang together, it's really nice that finally, at the moment anyway, what I do does go well together because I finally got my act together, I guess, and uh, my interest in how people are. And so, so that's what I do. I paint and I make prints. Thank and you. I'm part of a printmaking collective and a painting collective. And I run a studio tour and just generally do art. Thank you.